So if you were talking to a seller and you could give them one piece of advice, what would that be? Make sure that you get enough earnest money. Earnest money is money that the buyer pays in order to ensure that they don't default under the contract. And if they do, most of the time, that's the only recourse that the seller has is whatever money that buyer mm -hmm. paid in earnest money. If they have this big chunk of money that's their skin in the game that they're going to lose if they default, maybe they'll think twice about it. But the earnest money should be enough to compensate the seller for whatever they're gonna have to now spend money on if the buyer walks away. What happens if the worst case scenario happens? As the buyer walks at the closing table. How much is it going to cost you to put the property back on the market? Maybe you've got your stuff in storage. Maybe because your stuff is in storage, you have to now stage the home. You're going to have to pay a few months worth. It's of a ripple mortgage, effect. Yeah, mortgage payments that you're going to have to make. Figure out what that is when you're trying to negotiate with the buyer how much earnest money they're going to have to pay.